What's going on, everybody? It's your boy SB's Tracks, and welcome back to another dance and video tutorial. So, another one, we're going to set up a template. We're going to explain the template, you see me? And, um, you know, of course, the link to the template, I got it in my Telegram group pinned at the top. We'll show you exactly which part you can find it once it is done, and it will also be available on my website. So, this video is really basically a guide if you download it and want to use it and how to use it you understand what i say when we done go through this video i shouldn't be getting no questions but not at all because i'm gonna talk and break down every single thing what i'm gonna do in this video is me so right now i talk through fl studio but in a second i go switch over and start talk through the template inside a pro tools as i can see right now it's empty it's not at all in there we're gonna build it up you understand what i say and um walk through as we go along but because my normal voice i go low if i start talking a pro tools now because there's no plugins it don't really make no sense when we do that right now so once we get some plugins in the session set up a, um, a vocal arcs and some tracks then we switch over to pro tools and start talk through pro tools so now hear the audio out of the template you understand so let's get started the very first thing you know what i mean when you open the template which you are gonna see is a stereo audio track up at the top and that the track there we are gonna label that rhythm boom now me color code my session them um, a certain way I'm like my rhythm tracks even if i stems like individual kick snare and all of that if you have this um bluish looking color right here so we are gonna put name that rhythm well, first thing another thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna swallow safe the tracks my whole lamp on control left click on the s it i go great out what that do is if my solo another track the rhythm still play you know what i mean so if you don't want that all of you do hold lamp on control and press s if you unsolo see if but i'm gonna do that because i like for when i solo out a vocal me the rhythm i play still cool next thing i'm gonna do we're gonna go in at the io setup and we're gonna delete all of them boss yeah everything we're in at the io we're gonna delete it we don't need none of them but the main output which is the speaker here we see adam ax7 we're gonna rename that and we're gonna call that master Boom. you're not gonna really worry about none of this because all of this will already be there i just to make sure some go on an explanation of everything so you can troubleshoot if you need to notice how the track grayed out that's because there is no output you understand what i say boom so we'll go io what we're gonna do we're gonna go under bus and then we're gonna create hold on go back to output we're gonna go new track all right We'll create the first ox. Now this ox will be called sub master. Boom. But also I got solo safe. This track. Notice now we have the the the, the inputs them light up and now notice we have um the meat as the, the you know the feel of them not grey out no more. Cool. So that's cool. So I'll go back and set up IO. We have output. This is the you know main output. The DBX here. We don't need I'll go to bus. We're gonna go new part stereo. Local this part here. Master. Press create. Boom. Press OK. So now we don't create a master track. Master feeder. Boom. On this master feeder, notice how it's set to submaster as the output. We're gonna change that to the um the bus I will just create on your master. Boom. So that is the master output. So if you mute this or turn this down, you're not going to hear anything. You understand? No, don't rename this track. All capital letters, master. Boom. So for test, if you make sure say with sounds and everything I play, we're gonna bring in a rhythm you know if you make sure say everything i'll go how it's supposed to so far i like my master truck if it be dark blue or navy blue and i like my ox trucks sub master trucks and such to be yellow no we don't go and we don't bring in a beat so we'll go to here here um just bring in and no matter i'll just bring in something matter no it matter car Now 
Yep. This will work. Produced by Nico. Link to him channel in the description. Or the comment section, I should say. Boom. So now we have a beat in. So if we press play. As you see, no audio. Now, right here, we have audio. So we have audio up until the Submaster track. Now, the reason why the Submaster track is peaking like this is because if you look on the input and the output, them set to the same thing. So basically, this right now is a feedback loop. So it's probably a good thing that we cannot hear it because it would sound absolutely terrible. So we'll stop that. We'll change the output on the Submaster into the... Um, into the boss master so no all right this is we have a level <clears throat> mute nothing isn't it so this is basically a master track in a sense you understand what i mean i said <clears throat> but these are the master master track so no <clears throat> the first little issue so when you have voice you always want to leave yourself some headroom, you see me, over the beat, you understand what I mean? So my rule is typically I take off about 10 dB or so off of the track. So this is the regular level. And this is it when I take off 10 dB. You see me? So you still have, you see me, you know, enough volume did it for your voice, you see me, and your vocals, they're above the beat, kind of like all my vocals, they're above the beat, right? No, you understand what I'm saying? That's it. So, cool. We have a rhythm, we have a first ox, which is the sub master. So now we need some audio tracks. Now these audio tracks are for your voice pun, you see me? So let's say you do one track where your record pun, you do two track for your hook, two track for your verse, because you know most of the time nowadays we are punching and a punch out. Isn't it? So we are gonna have five audio tracks so far. Then let's say you do a track for your ad libs that are six. You do one track for like some like a reverb throw that are seven. And then you do another track for maybe you do like one well, like a different like a telephone effect or whatever that about eight audio tracks all together right there. So you see me so we make eight mono audio tracks. Mono because you know you you, uh, you one can record directly upon them, you see it. So if me you arm up audio track one, you see me, we have levels did they understand me I say. So cool. So what we are gonna do now is so this first track here, we're gonna make this like a purpose. I'm bright, you know, do let me see. Do do yeah, blue ish. I'll call this track record. Yeah, boom. So you can basically if you arm it up for record, you can record upon this track, whatever da 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 Right, that's one way you can, you know, do your recording in the Pro Tools. My way of how I do my recording in the Pro Tools is different. Instead of use one track for record, I just record direct on the track where it goes. So if I know this is my hook, I'm going to know I'm going to punch in again. Boom, what I would have do is I'm going to put this, let's say this is the hook, would I put this here so, and then I would have punch in on the track above. So I know say, me, me the record on the track is me. So let's let me go again. So boom. Da 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 You know seen a level because we don't have no input set upon this track. It's set to input two. If we change it to input one, is if we record yes, you see the level. And then you know when you're done, you just drag the track which part in if you go so if you want boom drag it down and we're gonna punch in again, boom, 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 blah 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 blah. You're done, you just drag it down to where you need to go. You see me? Instead of using one track for record R, you can just record direct to the track. Nah, 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 nah. You like that, you just disarm that the track there, arm up the other track, and you're gone again. Boom, blah, 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 blah. That's how easy it is to punch in and punch out. So I'm just so left this year so as a, a track if you want to use it, you see me, and just record everything here, so, and then drag where you need for drag to where you need for go. Me, like I said, I just record direct on the track. I'm going to show you why I record direct on the track in a second, because it makes much more sense. So, 
let's delete that. So we'll name this first track Hook. We'll name the second track Hook X2. The next track after we'll call it Verse. And then the next track after that, we're going to call it Verse X2. Boom. Track after Verse, we're going to call Ad Libs. Track after Ad Libs, we're going to call Verb Vox. Like that. And let's see. Boom, boom, bring. Verb Vox. And we have one other little audio track. Um, we probably can duplicate that. So we'll go Active. Yeah. So if you want, you can do, you know, call this ends left and then ends right. What we are going to also do is we are going to go on the mix and we are going to go on one hard left and go on one hard right. All of my vocal tracks, I like them to be green, lime green. You know what I mean? Let them type of, kind of like the like a light lime greener. Um, and then for the like ad lib effects track them and stuff like that. Typically, I'm going to go like a, some type of purple or something. So I'll go like one of them darker purple here. I'm going to put them there at the end. I'm actually name this track around. It's ad libs, not ab libs. Boom. So them there, if it ends them, you know, you can do something a little bit different than the um the typical green because them there are different type of vocals. So you see how the template slowly start fill up. You understand? So let me say. As far as effects on the vocals, of course, on the record track, you have not record on the rhythm track, the first plugin I would add, depending on what kind of tuner you use. I have auto tune, I have a different auto tune, honestly. So it depends on which one you want to use. I am just going to go with the assumption that most people have auto key. So we are going to put auto key upon this track, if we can find it. Boom. So we have auto key here. So play the rhythm. It will listen to it. When it doesn't find the key, we are going to put auto tune EFX. Just like I assume, say, you know, people have EFX. So C sharp minor is the key. That's fine for right now. So we are going to put upon all of the vocal track them. We're going to put auto tune EFX. So let's go to pitch, auto tune EFX. Boom. And we have that. Then, if you don't have auto tune EFX, of course, you can use the waves tune. Um, so I'm actually going to do two different versions of this. I'm going to use the one with auto tune in, and then I'm going to, when it done with the video, I'm going to swap out the auto tune for waves tune, you know, and then you can, you know, go through one. Do whatever you want to do. So listen to this again. Or send the key over to it. Alright, send to auto tune. It send it over. My voice is a low meal. Can deactivate auto key just like that. Boom. So now we have auto tune. I like my auto tune speed for be a little bit faster. So I'll put this at six. I'll put the humanize about 40. Boom, that's it. Nothing else need for change. Low latency mode are turn on. Nothing else need for change. So all I have to do after that is just literally copy auto tune over to all of your vocal tracks. Them maybe upon the ends you want a different speed. You know what I mean? Something more robotic. That's up to you. Ad lib track, same thing. Verb vox, same thing. So now we have the auto tune set up. We have vocal levels and all of that. Is me? So now we can start worry about the ox for the vocal. So in the hook track, we are going to left click on that. And remember, you know, we have buses for everything. So what we are going to do is we'll left, look, left click on the hook track. We'll press the master thing here. I'm going to go new track and we'll call this lead vocal. And that's it. Press enter. We should get a new track. First thing we're going to do, we're going to solo save it. Boom. No, upon this track is where you're going to do most of the, you know, the heavier vocal processing. So, for that, we're going to now switch to Pro Tools um, and start work on the, the vocal sound inside of Pro Tools. So, I'm going to um, mute the mic in a FL and switch over to Pro Tools. All right, cool. So, as as I as, as say, the vocals is very low. So, if you get that changed, we'll bring in... 
I will just turn up my voice for right now because the vocals low. This is a pro tools you hear, no processing whatsoever, you see me? So <clears throat> let's go to the to the ox. So the first thing we want to do, um, as far as the record truck, you want to make sure say <clears throat> you have some like uh, you know some light cleanup. You know, have nothing too crazy. I go on some simple stuff. Um, we're gonna use the Avid the stock EQ from Avid, or we can use the Pro Q. Don't matter. Um, fit right now we just have to use the stock EQ. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in a a, a a high pass filter. I'm not going to set this up like that. I'll just roll off everything. My voice kind of bassy, so it might vary. But I'm not going to do any, everything above, let's say, below 100 or so. Can't go to it because then it's so, you see me? So I'll do everything below about 100, 110-ish, around that area there. I can always change the slope if you know, you know, you know, I feel. Well, go on. So I'll do that. Um... This is not the time for you go in and I do corrective EQ in and I take out frequency and all that. You can do a broader thing, like you can just dip out a little something if you want. But this is just a template with just like a vice. You see me? So I'll just take out some of the little nasally thing, them right above us and other little boost like that. Boom. <clears throat> now we can move into my vocal track now. You see me? So we're gonna move into the arc track where we can start crank up the vocal, get the vocal the sound good. So the first thing upon the arc track, <coughs> we're gonna add uh, a DSA waves, of course. I would just want to catch any little S, right? So as you see, mine load up with minus 31 and the frequency already set. So I'm like that. You see, we are catch some DSA already, and we're not even really start compress the vocals yet. So like that, load that up, stock as it is. Next thing I'm gonna put on this track is a compressor. Now you can use the R compressor, the waves, um, CLA two way, whatever you want to do. Me like the air compressor because it's simple and it's light. It's not heavy upon the um upon the vocal or not like that. It's a very easy compressor for use and have to really worry about too much. Well, I'll set a level to minus 30. This will all vary depending upon your um preamp settings. My preamp set to where my vocals are coming. If you're looking, my vocal level right now, when it come through the EQ and all that, if you turn off the EQ, my vocal level are coming in. At low, this is probably about minus 14. That's a good area, you see me? Not too loud, not too soft. Any other volume where you need, you can just always use a compressor and boom, and bring up the volume, you see me? I know you start hearing that, that, that like a polish step on the vocal, like it compressed down your ear. You know, the, you see me? To bring it forward, you see me? So if you like, if you play this while the rhythm I play, you see me? Even though I have the rhythm turned down, let's bring this forward a little bit. You see me, my vocal is there above the rhythm. You can always adjust the level. And the reason why it's so loud anyway, because I have the L2 for my vocals. You see me? So, we can always adjust levels. That's that's the least. You see me? So, we are going to work our way through, through this chain until we get to the point where we can turn off the L2. We actually can bring it back a little bit. Boom. So, after the compressor, you know what I mean? You want, you know, bringing the machine, you know, brighten up the vocals or whatever. It's not, let me say, all of this is just generic stuff, simple stuff. What you can do for just make your vocal sound better out of the gate, just record a good song and move on. It's not nothing what you need to do, nothing too crazy. We'll do something similar to what we do with the other EQ. Roll off and we'll do a nice little boost on the top end. It's more add some ear to the vocal, add some clarity to the vocal. Right, that's so now we can do a little bit more as far as like take out certain things I want to like, take out a little bit of mud or whatever it may be. When I mix, we just I try to get a good little vocal sound. That's the only thing we are try to accomplish right now, you know, setting this template up. Boom, like that. So we we'll move on from the EQ. And for me, I like typically add and then I like take away. So we we'll just add some, um, some some you know hear some tapping to the vocal so we'll compress it down for kind of balance it back out for that we are going to use the waves rvox very very simple compressor nothing too complicated about it at all if you turn off the l2 if you notice the vocal slowly 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 i come forward you understand what i say we well, slowly i bring the vocals forward which is exactly what we want And then lastly, let's run this into the Submaster. Last thing I will add to this is another compressor from Waves, and it's the CLA 2A.
Boom. We'll do put this at 55. So I get a little bit of compression. Uh, add a little bit of again. Boom. So now we don't use me the vocals up. Use me front up it. They above the rhythm. Nice. Put in by the EQ. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no one for you to not kind of straight. I'm no one for a line. Tell them I will do it, I will run straight. Them boy, them bad man. So the thing go. Count up money anywhere we go. Nothing go. Watch out the lingo. You see me? Simple, simple. Nothing more than that. That's the, the, the vocal chain right there. Boom. What we are going to do? I'm going to bust this out, I'm going to go into a new track, I'm going to call this All, no, I'll call this Vox Master. So this is a Submaster, a Submaster track, bum, bum, cho. it's a Submaster track for the vocals. You know what, let me, um, let me show you something, let's insert the, I'll put this here, what am I going to do here, we're going to take this, I'm going to run the Waves RDS, because we have a lot of... Tss, 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 tss. DS in that needs to be done. So we're on the RDS, huh? And we're gonna do some light like DS in. We're gonna do this. We're gonna change the frequency to something like this. And we're gonna change the range to about six. So we don't want too crazy DS in, but we definitely want some. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. Okay, I know I'm for win, I know I'm for do it. And remember the CLA, the 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 L2. The L2 now becomes a limiter for the vocal. So what we are gonna do? We are gonna bring up this, we are gonna unbypass it, and then we are gonna use the L2 for set like a ceiling for the right when we know say the vocals reach there. So it now gonna know it passes. You see, we'll just set a little generic ceiling. You can change this if you want, you don't have to. Boom. So that takes care of the vocal chain here. So now we have the vocal master or the vox master as we call it. That go go next to the sub master track. And the two of them go next to the, the master track. So if me if you mute, I'll send the output of this into the sub master. So if me if you mute the vocal track, me can mute the vocal track without muting the rhythm. You see me? So if me just want to take out all of the vocals out of the track. You see me? Just by muting that track, we can take out all of the vocals and just listen to the rhythm. You see me, that are the purpose of the bust them. And like me say, we are going to explain every single thing. Just a walk on the it. So now we have a vocal track done. This track supposed to be yellow. Make one mistake earlier. This track supposed to be yellow. These tracks are going to be a lighter blue than the master blue. So yeah, that's, that's, that's how that's supposed to look. So now we have a, a arc set up there. Literally, all you have to do now is the hook, verse, and the verse two. We are going to route them into the lead vocal track. Just like that. So now... If, like I say, oh, me record, more record direct upon the track. So if I done record upon the hook track, you know what I mean? Just record a quick looking thing upon the hook track here. So let's say we record. I'm no one for it, I'm no one for say. No, 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 I'm no one Boom, we're done. And arm that the track, the arm up the next track, and you punch in. Simple. Just like that, you're done this, so you want you want to start your verse, you just arm up your verse track, set where you want to record. Just like that, simple punch, gone, nothing too complicated about it whatsoever and you only have one ox instead of have every track have everything upon it you just run everything through the ox you don't want to hear none of the vocals like me say all I have to do is just mute the vocal master all of the vocals disappear just to listen to the rhythm so that take care of like your recording tracks and all of that stuff we'll put this next to here boom so now we get to the 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 the, the ad libs now so Mm -hmm. I'm not for it. We dip on the ad libs track, you know. First thing we do, do, auto tune have some 
some things in it I'm like. So you have like stuff like um and a Mike Dean um ad lib like this, you have this them type of things here. Um double filter. I have all kind of stuff where I'm like, you know, and uh and we can always turn up the gain as well. So you have all of them type of stuff here. So typically for my ad libs I'm like for do. Typically for my ad libs I'm like for do is I'm like run them through a compressor first. And if it down compression wise, I'm gonna use the CLA seventy six. So I'm like run no no wrong wrong plugin wrong plugin wrong plugin CLA three A what I'm supposed to use. Sorry about that. So I run them through the CLA three A or compress them nine. I would uh, put the gain up at eight. So I have as much gain as we get compression. So now when we turn on the the, the filter in a auto tune now. Is it me? Yeah, I hear it, so, you know, play mm, I know I'm for it, I know I'm for sex I know I'm for your neck, damn I know I'm for dick, I know I'm for tired, I'm no suggestion Is it me? And if the effect, like this feel, let's say this feel that is too aggressive for you, you know, like it You just want the, the auto tune or whatever You can always change it, it's not a thing where you have to just, you know, say it that You can always do a different effect You know, I to do the uh a different stuff where you can do no, it's never like just talk you can always do whatever you want to do so mm -hmm. sometimes a lot of the times what i do mostly is I just use like the filter or like me use one of the module like this are the pitch and throat so I'm like that mm -hmm. i'm just run that through the compressor you see me once we get it to a level where i like and it I go through what I live when I like them, I come in and I do my own filter. And so let's do like um, Avid, Stock, D-Verb, not D-Verb, EQ. I have a preset when I like, a preset name. Um, vocal, no, 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 vocal. Um, special effects, transistor radio. I love this preset, isn't me? And because I'm an ad lib, so typically what I'm going to do with my ad libs, I'm going to pan them off probably like 35 or so percent one way so it, it out of the way of the vocal so it may mm, no well. no Have something recorded on the track and you know, I don't really need for the so now we can um process these so from ad libs Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
call money every day. The punk money every play. Them top money when they play. Them boy I leave me need that way. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know I'm for it. You know I'm for it. Oh, I set a level upon this. Minus. Let's say about minus. Yet ish. Mm -hmm. You know I'm for it. You know I'm for it. No, 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 Boom, so that take care of that. Next, we're gonna do, like I said, it look a verb true. So, the same exact thing. You can either record on another track or you can record direct on the track itself. In you know, this case, yeah, we're gonna record direct on the track itself. So, the first thing I'm gonna do, if you bring cross, I'll bring up um, the same Avid stock EQ, and we'll bring in a preset, something kind of enhance the vocal. So, I want a lot of top end, you know, a little bit uh, here. No, take out most of the body out of this. We want the, 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 the verb to look at thin as me so in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Yeah. So something like that. I'll run this through Avid Stock Compressor D3, I believe it's called. Boom. We're going to compro. Add some gain first. So increase the. Run up the knee, increase the ratio, increase the release. I want to lower the threshold so we we'll get some some proper compression. Yo, 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 no, let me listen. Yo, 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 check, 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 check. Yeah! Yeah, so something like that. Then literally, we we'll don't just put D verb. Um, matter of fact, so we'll put a few different things. So the first thing I'm going to put, I'm going to put the H delay. I'll put the H delay Mono Stereo, Mono stereo. Mono stereo. Ping Pong, Ping Pong. Or sit the stack quite a lot, stack quite a lot, stack quite a lot. Put the 30, 30, 30, 30. Then after that, after that, I got add, 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 Fifty-five for the mix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave it done on the delay. And turn up the output. So I three D D. So I will turn on the wind dry to about fifty. Yeah, So now we can crank up the reverb now to about sixty-five or seventy. The most the reverb. Yeah, 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 yeah. get the idea so <clears throat> that takes care of you know effects we have ad libs we have verb true so you can literally just let's say you record a track upon the verse track up your so why if I be and just drag it down boom mm -hmm. So you know, mm -hmm. after you record on the track, it's made just more convenient for you to just record on it because you hear it live time. So if you don't like it, you can just undo it and do the do. It's me. So that takes care of all our way um, regular and um, couple ad-libs. It's me. Couple. It's me. Boom. So 
So now, let's say we have the hook and we just want you know the studio, you want to catch a vibe. You see me? I go want like a reverb on your voice. I go want like a something pan something. You see me? Why if it has something pan something still the door? Like a reverb on the voice. So now we are gonna create three new tracks. So first thing we are gonna do is we go new track. We are gonna go room. I'll create a room reverb. Then we are gonna go under the room reverb and we are gonna go new track again. This time we are gonna create a plate. Then under the plate, we are going to create uh, two delay tracks. So we are going to go eighth or eighth. Boom. And then we are going to create a quarter note. So now we will go quarter. So this is a quarter note delay and an eighth note delay. Upon both of them, same exact thing we are going to do. We are going to load H delay upon one. So we need to go waves, H delay. And we do literally just set up a basic quarter note delay, like that. So if we send some of the little bit of signal to this, we have delay. If we play, Because we never did this, we need to go ahead and get a tempo. Which I'm not supposed to have to tell you that you're supposed to know that. But for my sake, we need to get a tempo because 120 and the delay now I'm agree, so 90. So once we change it to 90 here, notice the H delay automatically update to 90. So now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, uh. So we don't want it too loud, we just want a little bit of something pan something, you see me? Something pan something, something the dog. Oh yeah! You can turn it up if you want, you don't have to. It's all about what you want to do. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Turn it up if you want. Hey, come now, so we do it all. Sweet. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see if it. Boom. Next, we have the eight notes, so we'll literally copy this down. And we'll do the same exact thing, but we're going to make the eight note. Uh, more of a you know filtered effect. So I'll go up on eight note now. I'm gonna send this out. I'm gonna make this much more telephony, lo-fi. Okay, mute this. So here we go on. Yeah. You see me? Oh, yeah, man. I can't turn on the feedback. You know, for load. It's something simple. I just find a good balance between the two. That's it. So I can turn on this, play the track. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, okay, if you make this ping pong, it's up to you. Yeah, man. So now we have, you know, a little bit of delay. Then we have the room reverb. And for that, we are going to literally just go. D verb, nothing too crazy, you need nothing more than the stock D verb. D verb on my body is really ready to make. No joke. I'm going to D verb, I'm going to press room one, and just like that, we have some room, you know, to the vocals, just like that. Is it me? I'll go up a boy, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, them know how we feel, we not here. We come on, it's me out here. We never ever switch out here, no, yeah. We own with no fear. My beer button is just not enough here, yeah. Come money up, it's evident. Rich nigga, none in the earth, pay my rent. Talk, mm, 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 none of strength. Man, chunk, pa, me, one, I need a strength. Huh, them just a talk and I go on, bud. 
<laughs> now make the track start gone mad. <laughs> I one billion, no, in the uh, in the uh, still uh, in the uh, for me, yeah. Is it me? I get a vibe about that. Same thing with the plate. I'm going to put two different reverb on this, so. Um, what do I do? The reverb again, actually. Change this to a plate now. Increase this to about three seconds or so. And <coughs> for this track, we'll put more reverb. It all depends on the type of sound where I go for either one, like the big. Yeah, I'm going to show you a quick trick. So if you want like the big reverb sound, the all I have to do, you lead vocal track. You just turn that down, shave off like that. So now you have like this more atmospheric type of sound, you see me like a Travis Scott type of thing. Oh yeah, we are coming every day, yeah. It sound like you know, like a hall, you see me type of thing. But the more you put the focus up and the more the reverb in the background, you see me, that, that, that can, you see it. So you do that. Tweets. Them know I've seen we win, but we in the streets Count money every day, it's everything I'm that nigga, I'm the president I'm going in, money I make Girl, I so good, train her neck You know I'm playing no game for the set If a boy disrespect, put a bullet in her neck Then nobody like we know not all Pussy them just want to see we fall Never chop a line on a tart But me ain't that But me I make money I was stand tall Poor them them the bottom just talk huh. Give me a glut and make me walk it huh. You know I'm sitting in my pocket huh. Call the pussy them state department huh. And boy, yeah, them no boy yeah. Call money up except them to the street Some day time You nigga I'm bloody pumped You nigga Blood up on the shoes, bottom. Uh huh. Christian Lou, too, got them. Uh huh. You know, uh huh. Got them. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, man. Say, I'm like, yes, yeah, it. You yeah, all like the vibe, yes, yeah, man. That's basically it. You know, the recording template, the recording archive. You know, but we have a couple things for, for finish up. So, let's turn down the delay. Everybody, I mean, the reverb. Everybody now, like, have a bag of reverb. Love reverb. So now, all of these aux tracks, these are aux tracks. We're going to change the color. All of my aux tracks are orange. Boom. We're going to change the color and we're going to change the output from master. We're going to new track and we're going to aux master. So we have another sub master, group, sub master group. I'm going to show you why that's so handy. So, so let's see if this. I will um, change the color on this aux master track. First, let's break it down here. Change the color to match up with the rest of them here. Boom. Change the output also if we go to the sub master track like that. So now, when I say it's good to have sub masters because now, let's see my record. Boom. Don't have sub master, all sound gone. Boom. You don't want to do that. Yeah. But let's say no one want no vocals. We just had the effects, but let's say you don't want to hear the reverb and the delay, you just want to hear the dry signal in your place. You see me? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! It's just like that, you have everything where you need right there. You see me? Quick and fast. You see me? Full template. So now, like I said, we just have to make sure that everything wrote up right and we'll go through the full routing. You see me? Like I said, no link me and ask me no question because I'm not going to answer it. All of the answers them for everything we want to know, I got in another video. Yeah. Exactly how the levels them set are exactly as I left them. You see me? So exactly when you get the template, I see me, so I left it. As far as these ends tracks here, these is, you know, half you use them and everybody do ends, is me? That's why, you know, so we don't really do too much or nothing, but we can do something with them and show exactly how we use them. Um, but we don't have to worry about the ends track them, is me? So we can really mute them if we don't need them, so we'll just make them inactive, boom, like that. So 
If you go through the routing quick, we have a rhythm track go into the submaster. We have a record track that should be going into the vocal master. We have all our vocal tracks which are go into the lead vocal bus. This yellow track here is me. Then we have the ad lib track them, which we are gonna put them at the ad lib and the verb, you know, like a verb throw thing. We are gonna put them in our new track as well. And we are gonna go FX master. You know what I mean? meaning any little verb true or any little dark via the voice, anything like that. And all of this is 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 about control, as I mean, have, have control over your vocal. And what I mean by control is if I don't want to hear the little reverb true or what, I just mute it. You know what I mean? Just mute it out. It's very simple, you know, no hassle. I don't want to hear the reverb them, I can just mute them just like that. Boom. So, you know, it's just a, a thing, it's up to you. Um, all of my quarter note track them, all of them in my room, supposed to first, play it second, eight note, quarter note, we're gonna bring all of them to the right of the master. So all of the tracks them to the right of the master track is my ox tracks, you see me? Make sure the, all of them ox tracks, I go to the ox master, so if I turn off ox master again, we shouldn't hear no reverb, nothing at all, boom. FX master track need to be going to the sub master. So let me say, the submaster track is the track where all of the heavy lifting get done. This is your left, right. You see me say, so you mute that. You're not going to hear nothing. On the master, the last thing I'm going to do is just add a limit up on the master just for levels sake. You see me? And if you do that matter of fact, we're not even going to use no more than a stack maxim from, um, from Avid. Basically, a L2 ripoff, but hey, you never hear that from me. I will just use that for bring the volume up to zero. Oh yeah! Uh-uh! Ah! No have to wait, no have to wait The sunshine on the stream Yeah! Back it, mm-mm, back it Cut me, mm-mm, I'm a Anime, mm-mm, any day Talk a lot Mm-hmm. Me. And just in case, let's say you are one of the modern youth that you want some more ear out of your vocals, the REQ can provide just that. Just turn on the high shelf and crank up. You see me? And you get all of the ear you want out of the vocal. You also have the other shelf like that where you can just use and change the slope. You get all of the ear you want. You can just go back to about 10k. Boom. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Them no half away, them no half away, them no one bring sunshine out in stress. Got money, track star your neck, been a dway, mm, touching the streets. Uh, 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 I will go through now and strip out all of the audio So when you get the template, you just get the file You see me? So I'm not showing you exactly how you load the template You see it? So, soon forward Alright, so In the zip package that will be in the Telegram group As well as my website it will have two files it will have the v1.0 and it will have v1.0 waves tune my mama said me to replace the auto tune with waves tune for those who don't have the auto tune all right so <clears throat> when you download the link from the telegram group you will get two files you will get the version 1.0 as well as the version 1.0 waves tune so you want copy cut move however you want to get these files and you move them to this location here you're gonna go to documents pro tools session templates and if you want to make a folder you can that's what i did and you just paste them in a folder anywhere in here or you can put it in a, any one of these folders post production whatever you want is me put it so i'm gonna put that in a, the it's be the track star folder here when i go to pro tools you're gonna go file create new you're gonna go create from template no if you notice we have them here dance other calling template v1 v1.0 waves tune is me you just press upon it literally change the name to let's do tutorial 
boom, change the name. Make sure so all of these set exactly as them is, 5416. And you just press create, boom. Because it's a template, you will never ever have to worry about overwriting it because when you create a session from a template, Pro Tools create a whole new project file. So you can save as much as you want. And when you load it up, boom, template load, everything good to go. You just arm up your track, I just start record. Plain, simple, no way around it. You understand what I say? That's it. So until next time, it's your boy's beast, Trackstar. Peace.